in the gospel text of today, which is taken from the gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 5 to 25, we will read about the announcement of the birth of John the Baptist to his father Zechariah. Luke is the only evangelist who narrates both the announcements, the announcement of the birth of John the Baptist and the announcement of the birth of Jesus. Today, we will hear how the angel appears to Zechariah when it was his turn to serve in the inner sanctuary of the temple and when he was therefore close to God in his offering, God through an angel appears to him. And the angel makes very explicit to Zechariah that even though he and his wife Elizabeth are childless, they are to have a child. This is God's will because it's God's intention to have this child be the precursor, this child be the preparer, this child be the one who will go before God's son. So the announcement to Zechariah is not an ordinary announcement merely about his having a child in his old age. It is also about who his child will be. His child will have an important role to perform in the history of the world. And so therefore, Zechariah listens to what the angel is saying. But Zechariah, even though he is in the inner sanctuary, cannot bring himself to have that faith which is required to believe. And so Zechariah begins to question the angel's declaration, begins to question the angel's announcement. And the angel gives Zechariah a sign that it is indeed the angel that is making the pronouncement on behalf of God, and the sign is that Zechariah will be unable to speak until the birth of the child. And that is what happens exactly. But the point is that the words of the angel come true. His wife Elizabeth realizes that she is pregnant, that she is carrying a child, that God has favored her, God has graced her, God has removed, as she says, the humiliation she suffered because she was childless. Yesterday and the day before and 2000 years ago, the situation was the same. Women who unfortunately, for whatever reason, not their fault, were unable to bear a child, were looked down upon was sometimes even humiliated and insulted. Elizabeth has been blessed now to carry that child and so according to her, that humiliation which she suffered has been removed because now she is going to bring forth a child. What does the gospel text of today say to us? It says to us that there are times in our lives when God intervenes. God does not always intervene when we are in trouble. God does not always intervene when life is difficult and life is hard. But sometimes God intervenes. We have to be open through that intervention. Now, it is likely that in the case of Zechariah, the intervention was through an angel. However, in our lives, it could be through angels, but angels whom we can see, angels whom we can experience, angels in the form of human beings. And they might be giving some advice to us, they might be offering some exhortation to us, they might be offering some encouragement to us, unlike Zechariah. If we can listen to what they are saying in the midst of our challenges, in the midst of our troubles, then we can hear God's voice. Then, after we have listened to them, we have to ask ourselves, should we act as they advise us to act? Should we act as they have exhorted us to do so? If that is the case, then we act. This is how God speaks to us today. God speaks to us 
not necessarily to an angel Gabriel like he spoke to Zechariah 2000 years ago. Occasionally, it might even happen that way. Today, God speaks to us through angels in human forms. Our job is to be open to what they are saying to us. Our job is to assimilate and discern whether their advice is something which we can practice and then to do it. Will you keep your mind and heart open to God revealing himself to you? God might reveal himself through an angel like he did with Zechariah or he might reveal himself through a human angel like he will do with you today.